Hello and welcome to this video on the new Turbo Price. Now Turbo Price is a system whereby if you want to put a new item into the central price list, instead of as in the standard version of the GDX program, you've got to go down to the GPS map, then go to the central price list, then find the category, then find the component, put it in and then come all the way back again. With the new Turbo Price you can actually do it all on this one screen while you're doing the actual costing. And I'm going to do a couple of examples today just to show you the flexibility of it. Now the first thing is this is a slab that I'm going to do uh, and as you can see it's a combo. You've got the slab components here, then you've got the footing components and then you've got the pump. But the footing is not the one that I want. So when I click on it to change it, I look up and down the list and I find that the particular footing that I want isn't there. Okay, so now with the new turbo price, you'll see it says at the top, add new item to this list. So I simply click on that. That takes us to the new turbo screen. Now, turbo price uses a system whereby it takes the existing labor and wastage factor from a similar item that you've already got in there. Okay, so if I was to click on any of these footings up here, uh, as opposed to a pad footing, because I'm doing a linear footing, uh, then it's going to use the same wastage factor and the same labor as that. So you can click on any one of those normal footings. It doesn't matter about the size, and that's as good as any. Okay, so that takes us to this screen when we use the selected one. Now I can either uh, put this new price in via live prices or manually add it. Well, with concrete, of course, we always manually add. So I click on that button and then uh, I can put in a brief description. Now the one that I want is a 450 by 800 by 25 MPA footing. Okay, that's not in the list at the present time. Okay, so now I simply enter the cost per cubic meter and uh, let's say it's around about the 230 and uh, then the unit of measure. Now we buy concrete in a cubic meter even though we're putting in a linear meter of footing. How do you buy the concrete? And that's by the cubic meter. And we click OK. So that's quite simple to do that. Now I need to convert the cost per cubic meter into the cost per linear meter for a particular size footing. And as you can see, you have all these different pictures down here which will convert you know, boards and sheets and rolls to square meters or linear meters to square meters at different centers. For example, if I wanted to put a bearer in it, maybe 1800, uh, this one here, the sheets, that will change a uh, sheet or a roll by putting in the width and the length and that'll convert it to a square meter. But the one we're doing at the moment is we're changing a cubic meter of concrete to footings and piers. And this note over here tells you, click the picture to uh, convert cubic meter of concrete into linear meters of strip footing and thickened edges, also linear meters of augered piers and individual pad footings. Well, I want to do the thickened edge. So I simply click on it. And then I put in the um, width and height from up the top here. So I've got 450 and then I've got 800 and I simply click OK. And the program then converts the 230 a cube to $91.08 a linear meter by that size. And as you see here, it says the items in the list below come from the item that I originally chose as having the same labor and wastage. So that original footing that I chose, it had a 10% wastage factor. Uh, there was no overlap, of course, because it's concrete. So the program knows the um, labor rate down here and it's just calculated the uh, concrete size and I simply click OK. Now that then goes into the list so I continue my costing and if I go down I'll find the 450 by 800. I'll just go down to the one. Here we are 450 by 800 by 25 MPA. We select it and we keep costing so I haven't moved off this screen. Now I'll show you another one. Okay, this time I'm doing an external wall and uh, here's the um, components for the wall uh, but I have to change the insulation because that's the wrong one so I click on it as usual, have a look through the list, the insulation is not there so I can add new item to this list. That again takes me to a list of all the insulations that are already in the program. Now if I was putting in a sheet of insulation like a foil board etc, I'd click on any of those. If I was going to put in another blanket type of insulation, maybe the uh, air cell, then I'd click on the blankets. Uh, but I'm going to do a bat so I can click anywhere on those bats because they will have the same labour rate and the same wastage factor. So I'll click on that one's as good as any and click OK. 
So the program now knows the wastage and the labour for this new item I'm about to put in. Okay, so we go to live prices again, and then I can click here and I simply type in bat as my search word, and here I've got all the insulation bats. Now the one that I need is uh, this one down here, the R2s. Selected, and again, this name is very complicated, very technical for uh, the owner. So I would be getting rid of all that, and I'd probably put the R2s at the front because uh, that's what we tend to say. We say oh, it's an R2. We don't say it's an insulation bad earth wall R2. Uh, so I tend to put it at the front there, and then you can just take that out. Okay, so uh, R2 earth wall insulation bat, and click OK. Okay, so this is the pack up here, a 32 piece pack at $80.42 each. This is the unit of measure, of course, of the item that we've uh, just either put in manually or we've downloaded. Now I have to change that to a square metre uh, basis, so I go down to here, as you can see from the orange note, click the picture to convert a bag of insulation bats to a square metre, so I click on that. Okay, so I put in the width of the bat, so up the top here we can see it's 580. And their length is 1160. Okay. And then uh, the number of bats in the pack is 32. So we put in 32. And we click OK. And that converts it to a square metre rate with 5%. And if you wanted to, of course, you can change the percentage rate there. And here's the labour rate that that original insulation that I just chose a moment ago, that's what's in there for the labour. Okay, so that's how easy it is to uh, put a new item in you, uh, the turbo price, choose whatever item you've got there, that will do the conversion of it. If something doesn't need a conversion, I'll just click OK to put that in, and then when I go to the insulation and I look down it, you see here's your R2 earth wall insulation bats, ready to select to change and then you start tracing again. Okay, so uh, if you've got an item, as I was just saying, that is maybe say a tap or a door or something like that that doesn't need any conversion, the top button will allow you, and I'll just show you that again, this one up here. So that's just any single item, like a door or something. Now also, if you've got a piece of timber and it comes as a linear metre, well of course you don't have to convert that, it's only if the timber comes in say a 5.4 metre length that you would need to convert it uh, at, down to a linear metre and in that case you'd click on the stock lens and that green and orange note will uh, give you more information on it, but if you were to click on that you put in the 5.4 or the 3.6 or whatever it is, click OK and that'll give you the linear metre rate, but uh, if it's as I say just a single item um, then you don't have to worry about doing that. And this green note up down the bottom there and in the middle of the screen, that'll tell you all about it. This one, as I said before, will uh, change sheets and rolls. This one is one of the ones we just did. We changed the bearers. This one here, if you've got a linear metre cost of decking or strip flooring, you can simply put the width in. And uh, this is important here. Enter the length of the board as above. Uh, if it's the unit is already in linear metre, which normally it is for timber, in the whatever it is in the yellow box there, then just put a thousand in there and then that will do the correct conversion for you. So if it's a linear metre, which it normally would be, put a thousand in there and the width of it, 80 mil or whatever it is in there. Okay, the same with the concrete, we just went through that before. If you're doing a pad footing where you've got three dimensions, length, width and depth, put those in there. And if you're making up a concrete pier, then simply put the diameter of the pier, so 450, 700, whatever, and the program will multiply by pi r squared and give you the cost of the concrete per linear metre of footing. Uh, bricks, of course, simply choose how many bricks you use per square metre, so 50, 51, or if it's blocks, you know, um, 12 and a half, etc., and that'll convert the cost to a square metre rate. This one we just did, put in the stock standard length, and it'll convert it to a linear metre, and of course this is the other one that we did when we uh, were changing everything from uh, insulation bag to uh, square meters. Manual conversion, if none of these other ones uh, over here they work for you, you can actually put your own uh, one in there as well. So uh, that will actually override it and if you read through those notes it'll show you how it works. Okay, so that's basically the um, how it works with the uh, turbo price. Very simple system of uh, putting a new price into the price list. Now that also, as well as putting it into the list for you to cost, it's actually put it into the central price list as well for you.